If you're like us at Picatinny, you may have some of these older buffalo blowers that use the wired system unlike the new wireless system that's available. And the unit's still good, you're not going to replace it until the machine's rendered useless. So you, I was asked to uh, come up with a better solution to this. Otherwise, you have to drag the wire through, insulate it against chafing, and then we had a lot of issues where it would simply just pull out and it, it would happen quite a bit. Fall off because it's magnetic drag in the ground, so I was asked to come up with a better idea than this. Okay, so what I came up with is to mount a switch on the vehicle itself. The blower plugs in at the back just like a trailer. No dragging a wire through. This is a momentary switch, meaning that you press it one direction and it pops back to the center, stops, press the other direction, pops back to the center and stops. And it's also an easy one to hook up because it only has four wires. It re as you know, for a DC motor, when you reverse the polarity, it runs in a reverse direction and that's done inside the switch. So this particular switch, you hook your power and ground to it and you just have two wires going back to the back of the vehicle and the reversing of the polarity is done inside the switch where you don't need six wires like you normally would. And then you could also purchase extra plugs if you have more than a few vehicles because you only get one plug per blower. The location of the switch is easy for the operator because they like to look over their shoulder, preferably their right shoulder, and operate the blower. So over a short period of time, we've been using this method and this seems pretty effective. So if you're looking for a way to improve the efficiency of your old buffalo blower without the wires going through, you can have this done for about probably $20, a switch and some wiring going through and you're all set.